All right, Pezzo, today we are previewing our boys, sometimes, Australia. Australia's chances ahead of this 2023 World Cup. And Pezzo, obviously, you know, our, our heart is in this one deeply, emotionally, spiritually, with every ounce of our being and indeed soul. Not to be confused with the capital of South Korea. That's actually not involved in any capacity just yet, as far as I know. But I can't tell if this is if this is a World Cup winning team or if it's a team that's going to break our hearts and finish seventh. Yeah. And you better be able to tell it ahead of time yeah, in predict a preview. It, predict it. Oh, don't you know what's going to happen? If you read everybody else's previews or like <laughs> concepts of Australia ahead of this World Cup, it's yeah. just like it, like people who aren't from Australia are just resigned to Australia being there or thereabouts. Like Sick I'm, of I'm, I'm yeah. coining them the there or thereabouts team. Okay, yep. Uh, according to everybody else, Australia just like no investment into white ball cricket in the last four years. Yep. They have seven or eight guys who basically are the team for every format, just yep. partridge shrugging their way into the tournament, mm. hoping they're happy. Yes. And, and I am too. And that's, that's no sledge. <laughs> that's just the state of this format at the moment. Yep. Every team is aging because mm. it's like, well, uh, how are we meant to invest in other teams, uh, in, in, in other players here? It's just like, ah, they're, they're the guys just, uh, you know, uh, I hope I hope Australia's happy. Mm. I hope they're firing. I hope Adam Zampa's being funny. I hope um, there's some golf in India. Yep. They can bring their sticks. I hope they can bring a golf simulator. <laughs> I hope there aren't any tariffs on Manus's coffee machine. <laughs> yep. uh, and if all those things go to plan, Australia probably play well. Yeah, probably can finish maybe third. <laughs> TJC is brought to you by Cricket.com. You can go to the App Store right now and download the Cricket.com app for news, match reviews, and everything that you've ever wanted in the sense of a cricketing app on your device or indeed telephone. Um, Pez, the squad for Australia, Pat Cummins with the captain's armbands. Players should be wearing armbands so they can speak to referees and match officials, generally speaking, I think. David Warner, Travis Head is in the squad. Mitchell Marsh, Steve Smith, Marnus Labuskakni, Alex mm. Carey, Josh Inglis, Glenn Maxwell, Cam Green, Stoinis, Abbott, Stark, Hazelwood, Zampa to round out your bowling all-rounders and indeed bowlers. Um, that looks like a pretty good team. I've seen all those guys play well from time to time. You mentioned before about no investment for Australia in a white ball program since 2019. I remember going to that tournament in 2019 as part of the squad, as we all were. And I remember, I remember thinking, this team hasn't had any investment in it since the four years before that when they won it in 2015. Um, and I feel even more so about this team. There are, there are guys that have played well, obviously. I like the names. I can I can I can squint my eyes and I see numbers and and halls next to those names. Yeah. Um, but at Good the same brand time, brand recall the Australian team, hundred percent, just with names. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. They've got that going for them. I suppose so. But then I look at like the middle order issues, the death over bowling issues, and I was like, there's a couple of holes here. Well, but you squint and a couple of them have played well before in those moments, mm -hmm. and can you just alchemize that into them doing that at the same time? That's yes. pretty much the idea, isn't it? Yes. I suppose like the, 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 the central tenet of what I'm talking about here is that uh, Marnus, who wasn't in anyone's team a month ago, including the selectors, has now scored the second most amount of yeah. runs for Australia in the past 12 months in ODIs, only behind Dave Warner. He scored more than Mitchell Marsh. Uh, and uh, now he is a central role in the middle order for Australia. Mm. Yeah, the guy who scored the most amount of runs was the one they were desperate to drop. Like, uh, <laughs> but kept picking. But kept picking him because the guy's getting injured. And yeah. It's like, ah, oh, we'll yeah. just play him. It'll, it'll, it'll be okay. Right, right. Yeah, I, look, I, I, I'm not sure, man. Like, it, what was um, – it feels like this Australian team are walking a real tight rope. You yeah, know, like, yeah, like yeah. things – a lot of things will need to go really right for them to play their best cricket. Now, mm -hmm. I'm sure if that you – I'm sure if you spoke to guys in the side, so experienced – uh, most of the team, they may feel like there's so much insignificant cricket that goes on that mm. you can't read too much into into the form that's led into this tournament. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. they sort of their white ball cricket kind of fell off a cliff. Yeah, they may feel like, look, the throbbers get their games right mm -hmm. when the throbbing is needed. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and 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 it's time to throb, Australia. <laughs> it's, it's just that it's just that when you look at their mm. previous white ball tournaments. Uh, I feel like the, the 2021 T20 World Cup mm. in UAE was more of an outlier than anything else. Now, not I'm, I don't mean to take away from the tournament that they literally won. You have yep. to play the good cricket to win it. You have to create the vibe, which they did. Yep. But they they won every toss in um, pretty good conditions. They had a little bit of luck along the way, which obviously you need. Mm. I thought their performance in the T20 World Cup last year here was – a little bit more reflective of where the yeah. white ball cricket actually is. The 2019 World Cup, yes, they make the semi. I thought they shrugged their way to that as well. Perhaps I'm being um, ungrateful for what they can offer. But mm. I just think most people's conceptions of Australia's World Cup is that 
yes, they have players who can win you the tournament. Mm. And so for Australia, it's a case of like, can they create some kind of momentum, some kind of vibe that is that we haven't seen yeah. in the last couple of years, but nobody's ruling out that they can do that. You know what yeah. I mean? They can just, you know, can, can Australia catch fire? Mm. You know, and who who's going to start the fire? Mm. You know, we didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. Yeah, was it Billy Joel? Did he start the well, fire? Well, yeah, <laughs> there are a couple of clues there. <laughs> but yeah, Australia, Australia's just looking for someone to start the fire. Yeah, really. Yeah. So so like heading no, into bushfire season. It's been a bit of nose. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's right. Not here. Yeah, not here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, there's a whole system that started <laughs> the starting fires. Depends. Is it an arsonist? Yeah. Or is it actually? Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. <laughs> yeah. Like th- th- I feel mm. like that is. You can look at this Australian team. You can see that they're very up and down. Yep. Uh, sometimes their their cricket has holes all the way through it, but it also has players that if they catch fire, good night, and they're going to play some good cricket. I think that given the given the the format itself, it sort of allows you if you have the superior cricketers. <laughs> Uh, to to um, excel that uh, sorry um exhibit that over the course over of time, over, yeah. over, over yeah. time you know like um Cummins uh, for me like Stark is just so, it's not a big shout but like, he's just so important and he's mm. fucking he's such a good white ball mm. bowler mm. Uh, he may well be the the bowler of the tournament he was mm. the leading wicket taker with Trent Bolt in 2015 he was a leading wicket taker in the 2019 World Cup as well he's just taken a hat trick against the Netherlands um it's wow. you, you know, yeah well, you know well I mean the Netherlands are in the tournament so um uh, I suppose there's that but you know he, he's a guy and you look at Steve Smith obviously. His white ball record, okay, it's not amazing, but like he's still a quality player. Dave Warner scores runs mm. in India in the, in the white ball. They've got ball. guys who can do things. Mitch Marsh has been fantastic for a year now or so. You know, I mean, they, they, these are guys. These are guys that do things. But it's mm. like, but when it gets down to like the real pointy end, when teams have just more power mm. and more consistency and more like uh, more guys that can hit at one seventy or more guys that can take a match winning three uh, uh, three wicket spell. That's where I think Australia's just short, but yeah. I, I think uh, they're, but they're definitely good enough to beat the rest, you know. Yeah. Which is why I I expect them to win every game they ever play. Of course, of course, yeah. Uh, which is my birthright, but I can just see them getting into mm. a semi final and then like just being pipped by just a better team. Which is why I think that it's just a case of somehow a divining, creating some momentum or some fire, because you mm. can also see a scenario where by the end of the tournament, if Maxwell's just unstoppable right, Mitch right. Marsh is unstoppable Travis Head is back yeah. it, it could just be an Australian team on a roll all of a sudden Zamp is social media game is through the roof there's <laughs> fucking you know whatever the 2023 version of the scare goggles are there's you know jokes are emerging so, you know Cheryl yeah. Luna's on, on fire yeah. there are remixes yeah. you know and then all of a sudden they, they can't be stopped even by you know a, a rampaging expectant India or yeah. England you know because once once the Australian juggernaut gets going then, mm. then you know you know that feeling in this country once we get the sniff that we're going to win something we mm. fucking win. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, like we knew that before the the, um, the final against New Zealand. It was just to, to forget about it. Yeah. Like Australia was going to win that game. It was yeah. already written. That's the job yep. of these guys uh, this time around. They've got the players to do it. Mm. There's no real evidence that they have a game style no. or, uh, or, or like a – a set of principles mm-hmm. that are going to um, catapult them towards winning. But then again, that's kind of what's making this World Cup so interesting yep. because no team has really invested in the format. Everyone's just throwing their best players at it and going, hey, let's see, let's see if you can be happy. Exactly, exactly. I'm just looking at the middle order. Okay, Manus has done well and he's got himself into the squad. Smith, Inglis, the reserve batter, Maxwell, Green, Stoinis. That, that sort of middle overs uh, of batting, there's not a whole heap of runs there recently, you know, but we've also seen do things, and that's kind of the point, I suppose. Um, Ashton Agar is out of the World mm, Cup. Uh, big loss, World Cup squad. Yeah, so then their spinners are going to be Zampa and then Maxwell. Maxwell's it's who's... massive loss. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then obviously Travis Head not being available to well, no one really knows, halfway through the tournament um, is the best guess uh, by all reports, but it does feel like if, if Head can come into the tournament halfway through and even plays the last, say, three games for Australia, that just strengthens the entire side, which is incredible, given yeah, that he wasn't really, really in the side. I think Agar's a massive a loss, just to be X's and O's about it. I just mm. think that you can expect with with ten round robin or nine round robin games yeah. that you're going to be stuck on a spinning wicket three times yeah. conservatively. Lower order runs as well, good field up. Yeah, ten all overs that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah ten overs like to, for Australia to be able to go from like um, you know ten overs uh, guaranteed overs under Zampa. I mean, if 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 someone gets after Zampa, yeah. Uh, that there's not a lot there to back Australia up. There, nope. There's holes all through that. I just think relying on big three, that's mm. a, the, the big three boys. Again. Yeah. yeah. Again, the mm. thoroughbreds to come through, Bush Horses et al., mm. uh, which is a separate uh, <laughs> separate <laughs> program that we run. <laughs> where, where, we, where we rank various Bush Horses. <laughs> I like this one's tail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
yeah, there's, I don't know. They, 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 to me, they seem like a team who with good reason, are um, tired and limping into the world cup. Uh, but mm. you are just not going to write off their capacity mm-hmm. to, um, actually get upset at those kind of conceptions and use that fire yeah, to start yeah, playing yeah. really good cricket. That's right. I mean, the question is who is going to make it? The f- who's going to make it into the final against India and get food poisoning the night before? That's yes. all I'm asking. Okay, the first three games for Australia pairs. And we talk about fears: India, South Africa, Sri Lanka. <laughs> Pakistan, those are your yeah. first four games. Mm. Oh, that's, that's I can see Australia losing every single one of those. Yeah. Um, the chances are that they probably win two, lose two. That's going to be the nature of the tournament. You know, what kind of decks you get. They're moving around to eight different cities as, mm. as England Or they as could well. win all four. There's, there's some options there. Yeah, there's a couple of good options. Or yeah. they could win Ties. one and lose three. Or they could win three yeah. and lose, lose one. one. And yeah. there could also be a washout there. So you've got to factor that yeah. in because there's plenty of rain around in India at the that's moment. Right. And, um, that's why net run rate is going to be important as well towards the back end. <laughs> <to> get- <laughs> <laughs> um, the fifth game is against Netherlands, but those four, those first four games, India in Chennai, South Africa in Lucknow, Sri Lanka in Lucknow, and then Pakistan in Bengaluru. You can't, you you can't know? pencil anything in. No, oh, absolutely. I've got them down to win. I mean, no, well, no, exactly. It's just like, uh, I, you know, I can see a world where they're, where they're really struggling. Um, yeah, that world exists. But at the same time, nah, doing pretty well. Everyone's in the runs. Looks pretty good. Bowling's on fire. What are you worried about? Get five wins. Get yourself into a semi. See what happens. And that's our perfect review of the Australian <laughs> cricket team. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? Let us know in the comments because you are from the future.